Mark, thank you. Now an Eyewitness News exclusive. She's always come up with solutions and never daunted, you know. She, if somebody says something that, and it needs to be fixed, she'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Lending a hand, one woman in Canton needed to find a solution to a daily problem. She had a hard time getting the mail from her mailbox. But all thanks to a simple idea and a man who couldn't make it happen, she found the answer she was looking for. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eva Zamara shares this exclusive story from Canton. This is where you can often find Betty Ferret, perched on her front porch which looks out on a busy road in Canton. Every time this 90-year-old wanted to get her mail, she'd have to walk all the way up her driveway while also being mindful of the cars whizzing down the hill. My last walk from the mail, I tripped there and fell. And that's when I thought, you better start looking for something. And we did. Betty came up with an innovative way to get her mail. Drawing from her experiences as a child. And I lived on a farm and I had to drive the horse, take the horse back and forth to pull hay. In. She enlisted the help of Mark Wilcox, who owns Connecticut Country Landscaping. Over the years, Mark has done work at her house. She kept on asking me, you know, what if I use a clothesline? From there, Mark came up with this idea. And as you pull it, it's a pulley. Betty can bring her mailbox in and send it back out without leaving her favorite spot. The top cable is what keeps it secure and, and keeps it in line so it runs straight and doesn't sag. Mark says it was Betty who added the finishing touches. She put a clip in here and connects it to her mail. So if the mailman, you know, goes in there and it falls, she just has to grab the string and then it won't be on the ground. And it's brought in quite the crowd. Well, they're interested in what the heck it is. <laughs> Betty's daughter, Susan, says this has made a big difference in her mom's daily life. She's always been creative, uh, inventive, and very independent. So anything we can do to support her in trying to stay independent is, is great. Susan says Betty's neighbors have helped make that independence possible. Everybody here adopted her. She's like everybody's grandma. While she might unofficially be everyone's grandma, there is one title that's all hers. She is the queen of the mailbox. So, <laughs> so it's worked out wonderfully. In Canton, Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.